One year ago today, 988 officially launched nationwide. The three-digit number connects people in a mental health crisis to professional help. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly spoke to experts about the impact of it locally. She joins us live in studio with this story, new at 10. Marisa. Jamie, 988 helped millions of people across the country in its first year. Many of those calls and texts originated from people right here in West Michigan, and advocates hope to reach more as the hotline expands. Shaniqua Nelson finds herself in a better mindset nowadays. I was running for a long time because I didn't have help. Three years ago, the Grand Rapids mother of five says she reached a breaking point and contemplated suicide. Being a single mom is just like, it's really exhausting sometimes, but it's a joy at the same time. And so you try to keep it together until you can't keep it together no more. And so that's where I was at. But Shaniqua instead decided to get help through I Matter, We Matter, a mental health organization in the city that provides free services to people who live in the 49507 zip code. I want people to know that it's okay not to be okay. And while Jamie Dalton believes in the work her organization provides, she describes other resources like the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline as vitally important too. For me, I tell people to use Utilize 988. I want to see them use these resources, sometimes even before connecting with me. Um, because the thing is, I need you to see you help you. You know, and that's so important because there's going to be a time I'm not going to be there or your support is not going to be there. The free and anonymous nationwide number went live one year ago Sunday. Federal officials decided to implement the new dialing code with the hopes its three digits would be easier to remember in a time of need. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the lifeline answered nearly 5 million calls, texts and chats in the past year to million more than the previous 12 months. It's one more resource for them at a, you know, push of a button to have somebody readily available to listen to them and maybe guide them or, or connect them to that help. Marcella Alcala runs Griffin Place in Kalamazoo, which receives calls made to 988. She says they did not get many initially, but that's changed as more people learn about the number. When we're on a call, um, we do measure the what we call ideation, that thought, the intensity of the thought. And we want to ensure that when we hang up on that call, that thought is not as strong or hopefully not even there anymore as when they first answered. And if it is, then we take those the measures that need to be taken in place. Marcella notes the Lifeline added an option this month for LGBTQIA plus youth and young adults under the age of 25 that connects them to a counselor specifically focused on their needs and rolled out text and chat support in Spanish. 988 already offers a special link for military members and veterans. No matter who needs support, though, she, Jamie, and Shaniqua hope people find themselves in a better mindset. Get the help that you need. Don't be afraid and don't try to do it by yourself because it will break you trying to do it by yourself. People can access the hotline 24 hours a day, seven days a week. HHS says it plans to add video services later this year, too, for deaf and hard of hearing people. Reporting in the studio tonight, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.